Traveling globally is exhilarating, but each destination has its own quirky rules. Respecting local laws and customs is crucial. From unique regulations to surprising restrictions, it's essential to be informed. Discover the top 15 bizarre travel regulations you might not know, ensuring a smoother and more respectful journey. Before we go ahead, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you. 15. No chewing gum in Singapore. Singapore's ban on chewing gum, in place since 1992, reflects its commitment to cleanliness. The regulation which prohibits the sale of gum, except for medicinal uses, was introduced after vandals used gum to sabotage the mass rapid transit, MRT system. Violating this law, whether by chewing gum or importing it without a prescription, can result in significant fines or imprisonment. This strict measure underscores Singapore's dedication to maintaining public spaces. 14. No feeding pigeons in Venice. Venice is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, but it's also home to a large population of pigeons. To protect the city's historic buildings from the damage caused by bird droppings, the local government has banned feeding pigeons in popular tourist spots like Piazza San Marco. The law, which was introduced in 2008, is strictly enforced and violators can face fines of up to 700 euros. This regulation helps to preserve Venice's cultural heritage, but it's a good reminder that even small actions like feeding birds can have significant consequences. 13. No high heels on the Acropolis, Greece. The Acropolis in Athens is one of the most iconic ancient sites in the world, attracting millions of visitors every year. However, if you're planning to visit, you'll need to leave your high heels at home. In 2009, Greek authorities banned the wearing of high heels at the Acropolis to prevent damage to the ancient stones. The sharp heels can cause significant wear and tear on the marble, so flat shoes are recommended for anyone visiting the site. This regulation is a great example of how modern concerns can intersect with the preservation of ancient history. 12. No red clothing on Tuesdays in some parts of Spain. Spain is a country rich in traditions and superstitions. And one of the more peculiar ones involves the color red and the day Tuesday. In some regions, it is considered bad luck to wear red clothing on a Tuesday. This superstition dates back to ancient times when Tuesdays were associated with Mars, the Roman god of war, and red was considered an unlucky color. While there's no official law enforcing this belief, it's a tradition that many locals take seriously, so it might be worth avoiding red on your next visit to Spain. 11. No public displays of affection. In Dubai, Dubai blends modernity with tradition, showcasing skyscrapers and luxury hotels alongside ancient mosques and traditional markets. Despite its contemporary appearance, the city upholds strict Islamic laws, making public displays of affection, like kissing or holding hands, highly inappropriate. Violations can lead to fines, imprisonment, or deportation. Travelers should respect these regulations to maintain decorum and honor local cultural norms. 10. No selfie sticks in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is known for its glitz, glamour, and endless entertainment options, but it also has some unusual regulations in place to ensure the safety of its visitors. One such rule is the ban on selfie sticks in certain areas of the city, including the Strip. This regulation was introduced to prevent accidents and injuries that could occur when people use selfie sticks in crowded areas. While it may seem like a minor inconvenience, it's a good reminder that safety comes first, even in a city as lively as Las Vegas. 9. No photos of the Queen in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, the royal family is a source of national pride, and there are strict rules governing how they are treated. One such rule is the prohibition against taking photos of the Queen without her permission. While this regulation is primarily enforced at private events, it's still important for visitors to be aware of the protocol when attending public events where the queen is present. Respecting the privacy and dignity of the royal family is taken very seriously in the UK, so it's best to err on the side of caution when it comes to photography. Eight, no flushing toilets. After 10 p.m. in Switzerland, Switzerland is known for its precision, efficiency, and high standards of living, but it's also home to some rather peculiar laws. One such law, though more of an unwritten rule, is the ban on flushing toilets after 10 p.m. in some apartment building. This regulation is based on the idea that the noise of flushing could disturb the neighbors, and Swiss people are particularly conscious of maintaining peace and quiet. 7. No nude sunbathing in Switzerland. Switzerland's conservative approach to public behavior extends to its beaches and outdoor spaces as well. 
Nudism is illegal in Switzerland, even in private areas, and violators can face fines or even imprisonment. The Swiss take public decency very seriously, and this regulation is strictly enforced, especially in popular tourist destinations. If you're planning to sunbathe in Switzerland, it's best to stick to traditional swimwear to avoid any legal trouble. Six, no taking sand from the beach in Sardinia. The beaches of Sardinia are some of the most beautiful in the world, with crystal clear waters and pristine white sand. However, taking sand, shells, or pebbles from these beaches is strictly prohibited. The local government introduced this regulation to protect the natural environment and preserve the beauty of the island's coastline. Violators can face hefty fines, and in some cases, even imprisonment. Five, no feeding birds in Piazza San Marco, Italy. Similar to the ban on feeding pigeons in Venice, the Italian government has also prohibited feeding birds in Piazza San Marco, Rome. The regulation was introduced to protect the city's historic monuments from the damage caused by bird droppings, which can erode stone and other building materials. Violators can face fines, and the law is strictly enforced in popular tourist areas. This rule highlights the importance of preserving cultural heritage, even if it means giving up a seemingly harmless activity like feeding birds. Four, no driving without a shirt in Thailand. Thailand is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches, vibrant culture, and delicious cuisine. However, the country also has some strict rules when it comes to public behavior. One such rule is the prohibition against driving without a shirt. This regulation applies to both locals and tourists, and violators can face fines if caught. The law is part of Thailand's broader emphasis on modesty and respect for public decency, and it's a good example of how cultural values can influence legal regulations. Three, no taking photos of the Vatican's Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel in Vatican City is renowned for its religious and artistic significance, drawing millions annually. Photography is prohibited to safeguard delicate frescoes, including Michelangelo's famous ceiling. Flash photography can damage these masterpieces, leading to strict enforcement of the ban. Violators may face removal or confiscation of their devices, highlighting the need to respect cultural and religious sites. Two. No camouflage outfits in the Caribbean. If you're planning a trip to the Caribbean, you might want to rethink packing any camouflage clothing. In many Caribbean countries, including Barbados, Jamaica, and St. Lucia, wearing camouflage is illegal. This regulation is in place to prevent civilians from being mistaken for military personnel and to maintain public order. Violators can face fines or even imprisonment, and the law is strictly enforced, especially in tourist areas. One, no toy guns in Brazil. Brazil has a long history of gun violence, and as a result, the government has implemented strict laws to regulate the possession and sale of firearms. One such law is the prohibition against selling or possessing toy guns that could be mistaken for real weapons. This regulation is intended to prevent accidents and reduce the likelihood of crimes involving imitation firearms. Violators can face fines, imprisonment, or both. This rule highlights the serious approach that Brazil takes to gun control, even extending it to toys. In conclusion, exploring new places offers diverse cultural experiences, but understanding local laws and customs is crucial. Respecting these regulations ensures a smooth trip and shows consideration for your destinations. Always research beforehand. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks.